Today is the day. Our very last Magic Kingdom day while living with, with Walt Disney World as our backyard. Yep. We're on the ferry boat. It's a little after, well, it's a lot after noon. It's 12 40. Yeah. We're on our way. with some water art. Like a Mickey. Because the pictures I've been taking. Starting up with Donald. Jamesy boy, we're gonna get you something special today. We're waiting in this line. It, it ultimately takes you into the confectionery. But we're gonna go in here. Get in some ears. Alright, we're picking out the ears. And look at the inside of these ones. This is the song I, I always sing to James in the car to get him to like calm down. Right there in this big noggin. Do we need to get youth? No, that'll work. What the? Oh my God. <laughs> what the heck? Looks good. Sarah's gonna wait in line and check out. I brought James out with a saw because we heard some music and I think some friends are coming by. Check it out. Your rabbit and piglet. So fun. Quick hello to Walt and Mickey. We have very little expectations for the day. Just enjoying well, it. Small World, Winnie yeah. the Pooh. And Liberty yeah. Bell. Liberty Bell and maybe some corn dog nuggets. Yeah. Jamesy Boy's asleep, but there's his boys matching goo. We dipped into the Christmas store. We haven't been here in a while. It smells so good. They have so many cute ornaments here. I wish we could buy them all. This cute little window seat. I think nuggets. you're gonna wake up soon. The nuggets were so, so good. And our favorite cavalcade's coming through. Yeah. A little too crowded up there, so we're back here. Enjoying from afar. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. Can you make that zoom for me? Sure. With the short pants? Yeah. I had to bust out the phone to, um, to zoom. I also got a Joffrey. So I'm going to see how many Joffreys I got today. Woo! BBC launch status. This is the weirdest sign I've ever seen. It's nice that they're offering it, but it's just so funny that it's here. And this sign is just sad. We really thought we were going to make it. I really thought it was going to open. I really this thought month. we were going to get ready to we and people moving before yeah. we moved. And the rumors are what? We've heard rumors that are the 28th. So if this opens up next weekend, <laughs> that's just a sign that Magic Kingdom is, is just mad at us. Uh -huh. I'm just going to look at this menu real quick. This little one is still so asleep. So we're just strolling around, enjoying. We might get a pretzel. Yeah. The I just I didn't notice that it's only up until four. Oh, okay. The plan is to when he wakes up to nurse on Carousel of Progress, but we're not gonna wake them up. Interesting. It's a cream cheese filled pretzel. Welcome to Walt Disney's Carousel of Progress. Oh, you're in for a real treat. The Carousel of Progress was Walt's own idea from beginning to end. He loved it. 
And when it becomes a reality, it's a dream come true for you and me. So there's a great big beautiful tomorrow, shining at the end of every day. Well, if you want to cause me to cry for the 15th time this morning, it's put me on that. But also, look who joined us again. Hi. I'm just stealing them as much as I can. Yeah, they're here to wipe <laughs> our tears away all day. But they're getting cream cheese pretzels because of the bomb. And I am tempted to get another one. You should. I think I might resist one. This kid is awake and forward facing in the carrier. Can you believe it? Winnie the Pooh, here we come. If you ask me, he'll never reach that tree. We're gonna go into Columbia Harbor House to be in line for Peter Pan's flight. It says it's 20 minutes. Who knows? The queue is a hit so far. Peter Pan was a success. Look at this beauty that the Magic Kingdom is giving to us. I don't know if they're trying to give us a fond farewell or break our hearts on the way out. But we're gonna go chill in the hump with the pizzas before they head out. Starbucks, I think the plan is? Starbucks! Yeah. Should we make him hug the castle? Yeah, we should. <laughs> Dramatic, yes, but necessary 100%. Okay. Sarah and James are gonna hug the castle. He's like, my parents are the weirdest things in the world. <laughs> Dad. Meg and I are in Starbucks. Gonna get some Starbucks and make an, uh... I feel like to us, like Sarah and I, this is like a transitional piece and like back into not local life because we only got Starbucks really here when we were with vacationers or before we lived here on vacation. Yeah. So I'm actually kind of happy and sad about it right now. Look what we got, and what we got, and what they got, and what they got. Peter lived on Tuesday, and she's on the college program, but from us. So the from the one from the vending machines yeah. that were like 75 cents. <laughs> uh, pocket nugs and cheese danishes. <laughs> Alright, we just had better the pizzas, which was a little sad. Yeah, we'll so, see them before we go, but But this still, is kind of like, like signaling the beginning of the end yeah, of Magic then, Kingdom. Yeah, they know how we feel, and obviously they moved here, and we are so similar to them, so they just get it. Yeah, so, so we're gonna hop in line for Small World before the night ends. James's first time, or maybe? Yeah. Yeah. James's first time on Small World. He's already entranced. I think he's gonna like it. Here we go. His first ride on this, and the last ride of the night. Uh huh. S super special. minutes left in the last day of the Brookhards being Florida residents for Magic, Magic Kingdom. Kingdom. We for the, feel, it's 
so hard because Magic Kingdom is just like so much of our soul. But we do have a couple more days. Yeah, we've got three park passes. Or no, at days. least two park passes. Least, yeah. This week. Right. So this isn't the last park day, but it's the last full day because I have to work the rest of the days. Right. It's and just pulling at our This is like sure. Magic Kingdom is like it's Magic Kingdom. It's Magic Kingdom. But we know that they are gonna cut they're probably gonna cut us off some lands. Right. So we're, we're prioritizing start in the back. <laughs> frontier land. He's like in a very happy mood right now. Yes. He's very drooly. Yes. Maybe some teeth are about to cut soon or something. But we're going to start in Frontier and eventually and if we can get to tomorrow yeah. before they, they cut us off. Regardless, we're going to hang out on Main Street for a while. Yeah. Did you have a good day at the Magic Kingdom? You went on lots of rides, mister. Yes. Lots of rides. Yes. All right, I think we might make it in Tomorrowland without cast members denying us. It's 15 after close. And I think we said it earlier, but Sarah and I realized that Tomorrowland's our favorite land, we think. Yeah, rides. Rides, Area food, music. experience, music, feelings. I didn't want to jinx it until it happened. I don't think we're going to go in the Storybook Circus, because there's all those cast members. But we, I think we can say we got into all the lands after close. And there's... You've got to appreciate it. Yes. And there's Jamesy's first ride ever over there. So we're gonna go. Well, I jinxed us because literally the second I put the camera down, two cast members from New Family's Land, like they looked like they were working the castle, yeah. came up from behind us. So like, excuse me, folks, this area is closed. You have to leave this way. <laughs> we so, got we got far though. We got to see Storybook Circus, and, and we we'll get we'll That's get the whole point of it. we'll get to pass teacups and look at Winnie the Pooh. But we won't be able to go towards the castle at all again. Like at that least way. we spent good time over there today. Oh yeah, definitely. But I miss this, these post-park strolls. Right, ruthless. Yeah, but I can understand it. Understandable, of course. But why can't we just have keys to all the theme parks? Yeah. One of the best views. We love watching fireworks here. You see Tinkerbell? <sighs> We were just telling James how he wished and hoped and prayed that he could see this beautiful castle. And now he's here. All right, we're at the end of Main Street so Sarah can pick up James's ears before they close. Then we're gonna go hang out at the castle for the last, last little bit of time. Let's see them. Oh, they look so good. There they are. James, your first Bye. pair of classic Mickey Mouse ears. They're still a little big. But, you tune on that hand good? Let's see, I'm gonna... Look at that. Hey, you can have it right back up. Hi. Wow. <laughs> That's awesome. He's like, wait, what's on my head? Wow. You want to go to the castle now, Jamesy? Yeah. Come on, Jamesy boy. Very beautiful sight. <laughs> James is loving the people watching. <laughs> I don't know, he made a spot on himself. Oh, gosh. Doesn't feel real. It really doesn't. All right, we're doing one last very swollen eyeball lap around the hub before we go down the end of Main Street. And we'll, we're gonna actually walk back. So we have a one more pit stop on the way to the car. One more goodbye after this beautiful, beautiful castle. Look at this, we practically have Main Street USA all to ourselves. <laughs> we haven't been here this late in a long time. Nope. One final walk down the middle of Main Street USA. Well, we made it to the Grand Floridian, and we realized that we never had dinner. And rather than getting fast food or something, Sarah came with a great, silly, very Brookhart-esque plan. <laughs> We're gonna get snacks from the store and sit in the lobby. And soak up our last soak it up. Grand Floridian ho yeah. lobby hobby. <laughs> My <laughs> brain I mean, it's been is a hobby mush. To come to this lobby. Yeah. And every shot of this last end of this video has been like this but That's only because i don't want to show my face because my eyeballs are swollen shut but this, this is just reality right now and here's the hall i'm waiting in line 
while Sarah goes to find a spot to hang out in, but there's the whole two monsters, donuts, and nacho cheese Doritos. Look at that, isn't that a sight? I think, I really think this is actually the greatest idea we had after being so sad leaving Magic Kingdom. I don't want to be sad leaving Grand Floridian, but like this, this lobby just oozes like happiness into our veins. And we have food, junk food, perfect. In proper Brookhart fashion, we're about to leave the Grand Floridian for the last time before we move. But we'll be back. And we finished all of this in like five minutes of sitting here. So, was that the perfect thing we needed? Mm -hmm. I, I do miss our Eevee girl. It's been I a do. long day. It's been a long day, yeah. We'll go home and actually day's not over. We have some stuff we have to do when we get home. <laughs> but we're gonna stroll from here to the poly to TTC mm -hmm. and get our car and show this cutie pie. Show this cutie pie. Oh, oh, you see you. You see you, cutie. Say goodbye to the girlfriend and see you next time. We gotta leave? Wait, what? <laughs> All right, I think we added like a whole another hour and a half, maybe even two hours, because it is 10.30 to our night. But we're finally back at TTC. But we feel fulfilled. Like our souls feel like, it's funny, like, you know, it was emotional leaving a Magic Kingdom. And it was emotional leaving Grand Floridian, but like what we love about the Grand Floridian helped that little bit. Yeah. Like, how we would always go there, like, if we've had a crazy day of work, go to the Grand Floridians. Like, we use the Grand Floridian the way we always use the Grand Floridian. Right. In, like, a calming, relaxing way. Yeah. I want to shout out Sarah. She's walking and nursing our child because she's a super mom, and she's been doing that since we pretty much left Magic Kingdom. Yeah. He's, He's fighting his sleep right now. Uh-huh. To the point where... had a really good day of he sleeping really did. and awakeness. Like, it was just, like, the day couldn't have gone any better. I mean, it's the end of the night. Yeah. He's... We were walking from the Grand Floridian to the Polynesian, and he was just yelling. Yeah. Like, not like crying. Not crying. Just like, ah, yeah. Yeah. Ah. And I would, like, rub his forehead. And he'd... And he would, ah, And then, ah. So hopefully he'll transfer good to the car. Yeah. Because <laughs> he's sleeping now. This is how the Brookharts... It's the most Brookhart thing... You, we could have done on the last <laughs> day of, of hanging out at Magic Kingdom as Florida residents. Look at this. Over there is the TTC, where that bus is. All of that parking, empty, empty, empty. We're in Villains, empty, empty, empty. All this empty, all there of it. Our car. Wait, there's our car. I mean, the park did close at eight and it's 1045, but clearly nobody else is hanging out anywhere else like we were. The Brookharts didn't just shut down Magic Kingdom, we shut down the parking lot. There's our car. It's so funny. Okie dokie. Guys, still haven't done that, but maybe tomorrow is the day. Okay. February 21st. Wherever I go, I meet myself. Well, today has come to an end. Great weekend. Today was a great day. Happy and sad. It's really weird that, like, Epcot has shifted in our heart since moving here, where, like, every other vacation... We've always ended with Magic Kingdom, and that was like the sad park. We were saying goodbye to the castle, and we did that today, and those emotions were still there. But um, because of just like our like greater relationship that we developed with Epcot, like and us choosing that to be the park we say officially goodbye to on Wednesday, um, that'll be interesting to see how uh, that goes. But it was a great day, and thank you the Petruses for hanging out and. Thanks, James and Sarah, for having such a fun day with me because it was really special. But we're going to go to bed because it's one twenty in the morning somehow. I thought we were going to go to bed earlier. Um, and thus begins a three-day work week for me and the week that's going to end in Chicago, which is still not fully set in yet, I don't think. But... It's gonna, and it's gonna quick. It's good to be home. I'm a sucker for the ferry boat, so since we're just doing the fireworks night, maybe Splash Mountain, because someone didn't want to do it last time we were here. We we're gonna do the ferry boat, because I love that ride. And just walk in and find a good spot on Main Street. Get me in the 
frame on my camera too. Okay. She's so it's 813? 814. Took three minutes. Right, but now we're in the park. Now we're in the park. And we used our pass we, holder pass for the first time. We parked at 745. So that's just under a half hour. And that was with a goofy cast member for the for the tram. Yeah. But a pretty easy ferry ride. So it's beautiful. That's we're a good find representation. The best spot in the whole world to watch fireworks, which is right in front of Walker let's, Mickey. Let's take a look. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.